All right, hello everyone. I'm here to tell you why you should never buy an Apple product again. And I'm gonna give you an experience that I had with an Apple product and why I am never purchasing Apple products again. So it started off with my cell phone. My cell phone was not connecting to my Verizon cellular whatever and I called Apple I mean I called Verizon and talked to them I went into the store to get it figured out and what they told me is basically Apple does this thing to their older phones not even like older as in like iPhone 5s or anything but anything from iPhone 7s to the iPhone 10 will have this issue and what that is is they try to up force an update without your consent they'll force an update that causes your phone to crash and then you can't even get into the phone so you can't get into the phone you can't turn the phone on you can't charge it whatever the case is it doesn't work so that makes it so you can't trade the phone in because they don't want a phone that's not working you can't sell the phone you can't do anything with it basically all you can do if you want to use the phone again or want someone else to use it again is you have to pay to get the phone fixed and then something like this will probably happen again and then you have to pay again and that's why apple is a horrible company to put money into especially if you're paying upwards of nine hundred dollars for a phone that's going to end up breaking just because they send viruses to it within a couple years now I'm gonna give you the story so this happened to a phone of mine there was no way to fix it I brought it to several technicians and I tried to pay to get it fixed it wouldn't work they said I'd have to send it to an Apple company and I don't live by an Apple store I live really out here in Humboldt County where there's no horrible corporations like Apple and there was nothing I could do basically so I called Apple I tried to talk to them and they said the only thing I could do was basically purchase a new phone send my old phone back to them they would fix it and then I'd have to re send them their old phone and maybe get a refund back maybe but I'd be getting my phone back. So basically that means that they're going to steal my money because I may or may not get my money back. So they're stealing my money and stealing my phone and that's why it's a horrible thing. So I just ended up, my mom gave me her old Apple iPhone and I just start, started using that one now. Now a couple of months go by and my girlfriend's phone that she bought about a year ago starts not working one day she takes it to work it it was working fine the alarm went off and woke her up to go to work in the morning she goes to work and sure enough while she's at work she goes to her phone and she noticed that it's shut down completely shut down and she looks at her phone tries to turn it on and then the apple insignia comes on she thinks it's turning on turns off turns back on then shows that the, the phone has been dead however she just got to work and it was at about maybe 98 percent 100 percent at best and uh, the phone should not have been dead not even close to dead so she didn't have a phone all day no way to call the police if something was to happen no way to get a hold of me if she needed a ride somewhere because her car broke down so apple put her in danger because she paid for a service and she paid for a phone that just shut down, that was forced shut down, that was forced to update, causing it to crash. So they put her in a dangerous situation because they want her to upgrade her phone. So we take the phone in to several places, see if they can fix it. Once again, same thing again. You can't fix it. You can't get it repaired unless you send it to Apple. So once again, I call Apple. I tell them previously, I talked to somebody about something happening like this, and they said that they would repair it for me. Apple would repair it for me, cover the charges. I just had to send my phone in. So they say that is no longer an option, that that option 
it's not gonna work and they don't do that anymore. And I'm uh, sitting there and I'm really frustrated. I asked the man why that that is no longer an option because just about a month ago this happened to my phone and it was an option. They tell me there's nothing they can do, that's all the options they have, and I'm gonna have to just move on, buy a new phone, or get it fixed. I try to tell them again, I don't live by an Apple store, so I can't get my phone fixed, or her phone. So they don't, they just don't even care. At the end of the day, they just want you to upgrade. So what do we do? We follow their bull crap, and we upgraded her phone. She goes into the store, buy, goes into the Verizon store because we have Verizon. That's the only company that we have to get a new phone to get out here. We buy her a new iPhone 12. We're pulling teeth to get this thing. We're pulling teeth to get the new iPhone, trying to trade in her phone. Basically, it doesn't work out. We only get like 100 bucks for to trade in, even though the thing's perfectly fine. It's just a software update problem. So we get the new phone. We get here. I sit down. She's restarting the phone. And what do you know? Another Apple mishap happens. We can't log into her phone because her Apple ID needs to get a verification code sent to another device. She only has the Apple iPhone. She doesn't have another device with her ID logged into it. So we're sitting here, we've wasted our entire day off trying to get the phone and this is the thing that is wrong. We are hard working people, we work nine to fives, we work normal jobs, and now we're sitting here wasting our days off to get a service that we put our hard earned money into to pay for to get something where we're expecting a service. And Apple is not a cheap product. It is an expensive product. So I don't understand why they don't provide an expensive service. This is just wrong. It's just wrong. That's a, just plain and simple. It's not good business. Because we're paying a tooth, a, a leg, and an arm for these iPhones. They're all over $1,000 now. We get the phone. I call Apple again. The advisor on the phone is not very helpful at all. He's just telling us how to work the machine. And he's real unenthusiastic not a nice guy at all acting like we're idiots once again horrible customer service we finally get the phone working and then we start noticing it's losing battery it's an iPhone 12 so we look in the box and there's only one cord in there there's no adapter for the wall plug-in and we look at the cord, and the cord is no longer a USB charger. So we can't plug it into any other device to get it charged. And I'm sitting here thinking, this, this has got to be a missing piece. There's got to be something wrong. So I'm talking to the guy on the phone, and he tells me, Apple no longer provides a cube adapter to charge your phone. And I just couldn't believe it. And I asked him, why would they not why would they not provide a charging thing for the phone? Why would they not provide a charging outlet for our phone? That doesn't make any sense. How am I supposed to use my phone? I just paid over a thousand dollars for. And they tell me some nonsense that it's to help their carbon footprint to help prevent pollution in the world but then I get to thinking and I'm like okay so if I'm if I got to go and pay for a separate thing to charge the thousand dollar phone that I just picked up isn't it gonna make a lot more trash to mess up the environment for my receipt for my bag if I pick this thing up at Walmart and isn't it going to cost me money and gas to drive to Walmart, causing more problems for the environment? And if I was to order it, because I don't have an iPhone store next to me, a, an Apple store next to me, I have to order the thing. So now we're going to order it from an iPhone place. 
and they're gonna send it in the mail and the mail driver is going to drive around causing problems to the environment with its with its fossil fuels and it's going to come in a box that's going to get thrown away by me or my lady or whoever causing more trash and pollution in the environment and it gets me to thinking this isn't about the environment they apple doesn't care about the environment at all clearly they just want more of our money so the hard earning, hard working people that pay thousands of dollars for a trusted brand that they trust, that they want to work, not only is going to possibly get a virus sent to it after two years when the new one comes out and they want you to upgrade, but now when you upgrade, they're going to tell you that you don't get a charger for that phone and you have to pay for a new one. And that it's better for the environment for you to go to the store, waste gas money, waste paper for a receipt and a trash bag to put the thing in. And then the packaging around the thing that you buy that's going to get thrown away is better for the environment. Or if you order it, same thing. And that's what they're telling me. That's what they're telling hard working nine to five people that they need to do. So that's why I think Apple is a horrible corporate giant dick company that's just trying to take your money and ruin the environment. So if I, I'm selling this iPhone that I'm using right now, I'm selling my laptop that my mom bought me because I don't not pay for iPhones. I'm throwing them away. Or no, I'm going to recycle them, really do something for the environment. And I will never buy an Apple product again. And I hope you don't. And this is why.